Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce with BIS Media, and today I'll be showing you how you can control your LG OLED with either your iPhone or iPad or any kind of Android device that is compatible with the Google Play Store or the App Store. So let's get started with this. So there's two different ways you can do that. If you have the remote, you can actually get it started this way. There is an NFC chip built into this remote, and as long as your device is compatible, you can wave your tablet over it or your iPhone or smartphone and it will read that NFC chip and it will prompt you to download the LG ThinQ app. Now this is just a cheap on Walmart tablet that I have for some home theater stuff. And since I'm recording with my iPhone, I can't really show you how the NFC chip does work. Uh, so I just already have the LG ThinQ app downloaded. And once you go to the app store and download it or the Google Play Store, you go ahead and download it here and open it up. And it'll have you sign in and create an account. So I'm just going to do it with the Google. And I'm going to choose my profile. And then it just has you go through some different terms here. And then it'll have you create your own password. We'll do that now. Okay, so I've created my password. I'm going to click OK. It says your social account LG email account has now been connected. And we'll skip the phone number. I'll just go with my nickname as the same as my email. Okay, and we are now in to the area. So it already shows up as the TV here. Now, if it doesn't automatically connect, you can always click add a device. You select device. Next. And then you look for any of the TVs or anything else around you. If, as long as it is, is, as it is an LG, then you can look for it. You can even look for a washer, a dryer, vacuum cleaner, any of these stuff here. You can select it just as long as it is LG ThinQ compatible. And so we already have the TV itself. So if I click on it, it actually shows the remote itself. So right up top is the remote control. If I click view all, it has almost all of the same buttons as the remote itself. So it's going to have the volume, home button, sound on or off, the channel, back button, input button in the settings and if you want to do more than that you can click on down here and this is going to be like the enter left right up down buttons the numbers if you're looking for a channel play fast forward rewind any of those buttons are also going to be here so I click any of these here it does control the volume on the TV which is pretty nice you can also turn on or off the TV even after the TV itself is off, it'll still stay connected as long as it is on the same Wi-Fi. That is another thing you do need to keep in mind is it does need to be on the same Wi-Fi as your TV. Mine is through the Ethernet, so it should, it'll should it pick up any of the uh, Wi-Fi's that I do have available. Then there's a couple other different things you could do with it. It does have all the different apps, so the same ones that are on the remote. Uh, you can do the LG channels, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, and then you can click view all apps and it'll show you those. And then you can also check out all the different inputs. So you can go through all of these and check them out as well. And then if you scroll through here, I will show you all these different options. You can view your phone screen on TV's larger screen. So you can actually cast whatever is on the tablet or on your iPhone or your Android smartphone onto the TV itself. Now with this one, it actually does not work. It doesn't work with every single device. It does have to be compatible. For some reason, this tablet is not. I've done it with my iPhone and it works okay. It doesn't work the best, uh, but it is a easy way to do that if you want to, for whatever reason, show it on your TV. And then you can also play phone sound on your TV speaker. So if I had something going on YouTube, I could have it playing on the screen. So we'll do that now. Okay, so I have one of my own YouTube videos constantly going right now. I'm going to tell it to play phone sound on TV speaker. 
I'm just going to think about it here. And then it will start to play now. So pretty cool. And then you can just tell it to switch back off. Tell it to stop here. And we'll tell it to turn back off. So easy enough there. Next up, you can play your phones, photos, videos, or music on TV. This tablet does not have anything like that on here. I don't have necessarily anything at all. You have photos. You can choose from videos or music. So if you had anything like in your Apple Music Library or anything downloaded onto your uh, your Samsung smartphone, anything like that, it'll show up all here. All, everything that you have in your library and your music library. And that way you can actually cast it onto the TV itself and do it that way. And then next up, we have listen to the TV sound privately on phone. So let me pull up something on the TV itself. I'll go ahead and pull up one of my own videos again, just so there's no issues with copyright. So I'm going to tell it to pull something up here. We're going to search for something. Let's see, BIS Media. <laughs> we'll go ahead and pull up one of these old silly videos from my college days. And then we'll go ahead and tell it to listen to TV sound privately on phone. And as you can listen, enjoying the sound TV from the TV. <laughs> so, all right, that's how you do that, and you easily just switch it back off. So, all right, guys, that is the easy way that you can control your LG OLED with either your smart, with any kind of smart device that is compatible with either the App Store or the Google Play Store. Super easy. Now, this might be something that you just want to do every once in a while. Maybe it's just something um, that you would like to do because you lost your remote, or maybe it's just more convenient because it's always right next to you. Now, it does have, that does have to be connected to Wi-Fi. It can be like on LTE, like if it is your iPhone. Um, or maybe you do have a tablet that is compatible with uh, whatever uh, service provider you do have. You cannot use it that way, so that is one bummer. Uh, but as long as you are connected to Wi-Fi, it will work correctly. Sometimes it has a couple bugs and it doesn't work the best. Um, but I would have to say, hands down, it's very convenient, especially if you do lose your remote. Or maybe you don't want to have to worry about the one feature with the regular remote and it just drives you crazy. This is an easy way to do it and you can completely avoid that. So, all right, guys, with that being said, that is all this video. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos just like this one. And I greatly appreciate it, guys. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next video.